What's up guys, in this video I have Anchor's Power Core Plus 26,800 milliamp hour portable charger with power delivery via a USB-C port. Let's check it out now. Alright, there are a few things that make this portable charger very unique. Let's go over first the differences between the PowerCore Plus lineup of Anchor Chargers versus the PowerCore lineup. So, here I have just their regular PowerCore series. This is the Speed 20,000, uh, so a little bit smaller, but you can see uh, roughly the same size. So, the main differences between these two are this one has more of a metal build whereas this one is a plastic build predominantly so that's one difference another difference is the power indicator of how much charge is left this one is in a wheel format and it has 10 dots each of these indicate 10 percent whereas this one the LEDs are actually brighter on this but there's only four, so so it's less precise. Also, the button is here on the side, so it's not in the wheel format. But again, really no differences in functionality other than you can you can be more precise with your level here on this one. Also, you can see that the anchor logos are kind of different materials, different styles. But really, that's pretty much it's between the Power Core and Power Core Plus. All right, so now, just in general, it makes this different. It has, you can see those ports there. One of those is a USB-C port. Now, USB-C has been around for a few years now, but most portable chargers that have a USB-C port do not have the power delivery spec. And what that allows is, is full speed charging of devices, including certain computers, such as the 2015 through 2017 12-inch MacBook, and it can charge even MacBook Pros uh, 2016 or 2017 at a much faster rate than your typical USB-C port. Now, what's special about this one is that the USB-C port is used as both input and output. The only thing you have to do is press this power wheel before you plug in your device to charge, otherwise the actual device will actually charge the power bank as it, if it was plugged in. But if you just press it before you plug it in, then you'll be all set to go. If you're using these USB-A ports, which there are two of those, support up to 3 amp output, then you do not have to press this wheel at all. It will just automatically start charging. Now, one of the features this also has is it can fast charge because of that power delivery spec. It can actually fast charge your iPad Pro. Not with a regular lightning cable. You actually have to go out and purchase a USB-C to lightning cable from Apple. Apple is the only one that uh, makes these at work. And here's one of them. You have USB-C on this end and then lightning on your other end. This allows for much faster charging for your iPad Pro. So let's go ahead and demonstrate that. First, I'm gonna press this power wheel. So once I did that, just have to plug this into the USB-C port and then plug this lightning in into my iPad. And it is also charging, as you can see right there. Now I did a test to see how much faster it was versus the regular 12 watt adapter that comes included with your iPad. And let me tell you folks, it is significantly faster. I will post the results on the screen right now.
let's go ahead and show what else comes included in the box with this. You get a USB-C to USB-C cable that can be used to charge the power bank or charge other devices and a USB-A to micro USB cable. The USB-C cable is actually longer than the micro USB cable for whatever reason. What else do you get? Well, you get this wall charger. They actually include a charger so you can charge the power bank at full speed. I believe it supports 27 watt input or 30 watt input, either one of those input or output. Um, so if you use this adapter, you will be able to fully charge this from zero to 100% in less than five hours. If you use a regular two amp charger, it would take around 11 hours. So that is very nice that they include one of these. And this is part of the reason why the price tag is, is a little bit high is because this costs I believe 27 or 28 dollars by itself so and there is more you get this typical anchor mesh pouch so if we go ahead and put this in here it fits just as you would expect and this is mainly meant for to prevent scratches it will not really provide much draw protection as just very soft material but they do, they do, most Anchor Power Banks actually get scratched pretty easily. You can see this one here has quite a few scratches, if you can see that. So, that's just to prevent those. You can use it while it's in the pouch, which is nice. You just have to close this up a little bit, and it, you'll pour, your old cable will come right out of there, which is a nice touch. And then you also get... Welcome guide and Anchor's traditional happy, not happy style car that provides contact information for their support team as well as um, ways they recommend you share your experience if you had a positive one on their product, whether it be through social media, leaving a review on Amazon, the Anchor community, etc. So if you have any questions about this power bank, please leave them down below for me. It retails for $110 on Amazon. That does include this 30 watt wall charger as well. So again, a little bit high price, but not outrageous considering everything you're getting with it. And this new, new technology with power delivery capabilities. Very, very powerful. It is a beast. Amazon link will be below. If you have not already, please consider subscribing to my channel and leave a like if you enjoyed it. Again, I will do my best to answer your questions below. Have a great day, and I will see you next time with the